long time the reason being we have already solved most of the questions that come in daily read code problem today i found an opportunity this question i haven't solved it in the past rest all those that have been coming along guys do check out coding decoded youtube channel you'll find them there if not then i promise i'll definitely come that day and solve that question today's read code problem is leave similar trees here in this question what do you want to do what do you have to do you are given to the root of two trees and you need to identify the leaf nodes of both these trees you need to store them in a, in a form of a list and then you have to compare those lists up if those lists are equal you need to return true otherwise you need to return false this is the crux of the question it's an easy level question and i believe my subscribers would be able to solve this question by themselves for those who are new this video is for them the first tree as this one this is the same example that was specified this is the second tree that is given to us what do you need to do you need to identify the leaf nodes that exist in this entire tree what are those leaf node what are those leaf nodes 6 is a leaf node 7 is a leaf node 4 is a leaf node 9 is a leaf node and 8 is a leaf node you have to store them in an array uh, you can use a list for this purpose and let's do that what kind of traversal would be appropriate any traversal B, uh, bfs post order pre order dfs you can use any traversal of your choice what do you need to do you just need to store all the leaves that are there in the tree in an form of an array and let's simply use a pre order traversal when i say pre order what kind of traversal that would be info left and right so first of all you will go and check the value at the root if it is leaf or not if it is not a leaf you will move towards its left child if it is and then you will move towards its right child if it is a leaf node then what you are going to do you will store it in, in an array and you will pass that array to the uh, in the incoming helper method uh, you will do a similar kind of thing for this particular array as well and what will you have after the iteration in that helper method it will be something like this you will have the elements as 6 7 4 9 8 similarly here as well 6 7 4 9 8 and once you have stored the result in an array for both these trees what you are going to do you are going to do a simple comparison between these two list as you can see all the elements in these two lists are equal and you will go one by one iterating over each and every element across these two list and 6 is equal to 6 7 is equal to 7 4 is equal to 4 9 is equal to 9 and 8 is equal to 8 since we have successfully checked that these two lists are equal in nature we will say that's a happy case and return true had it be there been a case where any of these element would have been missing or different then in those cases we would have returned false to conclude the question further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked here list 1 and list 2 i have passed this list 1 as part of in invoking my helper method find leaves i pass in the root of the first binary tree that i have and the second parameter is the list where i'm going to store the leaf nodes similarly i do a similar kind of thing for the second tree and my second list and once i have iterated over uh, find leaves method over both these trees what do i do i check whether the size of list 1 is equal to list 2 or not if those are unequal then upfront i can say that it's a negative case i'll return false in those cases otherwise i iterate over my list 1 i check whether each element of my list 1 is part of list 2 if it is not at the same index if it is not then i say false otherwise if this false condition is never met what do i say i return true it's a happy case so in case uh, the false is never returned across these two return statements that means we have successfully identified a positive case and i'll return true in those cases now the problem lies in how do you write the find leaves method so it's really simple we are using a pre order traversal you can use a post order traversal in order traversal or bfs if you want and uh, in in case my root is null i abort the process otherwise i check if my root happens to be a leaf node what is a leaf node how do you define it uh, both the children of the leaf node happens to be null and in case it is i add it to my list and moving ahead i iterate over my left child and then my right child pretty simple and straightforward let's sum it this up accepted and it beats 77% people uh time in terms of time time complexity which is pretty good also the credit of this solution goes to 
Saurav, he submitted the solution in our back. I reviewed his PR and I merged it into Coding Decoded GitHub repo. Similarly, the solution for C++, the, the credit for the solution in C++ goes to MSV Gupta. Uh, so he is also an active subscriber of Coding Decoded who regularly submits solutions onto Coding Decoded GitHub repo. The third person I would like to name is Saran. He's also a very active developer who uh, solves daily read code problems and is very active on Coding Decoded Telegram group. Kudos to you guys, keep up the good work. Apart from this, if you also want to build the same level of consistency that I have, then what you should do, you should solve daily lead code problem. And once you are done with the solution, you should raise a pull request on Coding Decoded GitHub repo. I'll review it from interview's perspective. And once I find it appropriate, I'll merge it into master. It's gonna help all the young engineers out there who aspire to build strong DSA foundation. And I hope to see you see your pull request very soon. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question if it's a new one. And have a great day ahead. Goodbye.